If you want to be a professional photographer or photo editor, you have to know about this technique. Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about a technique called Dodge and Burn. First of all, you have to know that this technique is all about the lights on the skin. So it has nothing to do with the texture, okay? So before we get started with the actual technique, you have to clean the skin of your subject. After you've done that, you're ready to apply the dodge and burn technique. So here I have cleaned the skin of my subject and now as I zoom on the forehead for example, you can see some areas are darker than the others and some areas are way brighter than the others. And this makes the skin look uneven. All we have to do is to balance the shadows and highlights on the skin so it looks more smooth and beautiful. To do so, we create a curves adjustment layer above all of our layers. Then click on the center of this line and then drag it slightly down. Just keep your eye on the highlights and imagine if the image was a little bit darker. How would the highlights look? This is about right for my photo. Then I hide this curves layer and create another curves layer above it. This time, I click on the center of the line and drag it up. Now keep an eye on the shadows. This is about right. Now I'm going to rename these layers. The top one is going to be called Dodge and bottom one would be called Burn. Now I turn on both of them, then click on the mask of the layer and press Ctrl I to invert the mask, which means now these layers aren't affecting the photo at all. Now I'm beginning with the forehead and brighten these dark areas. For this, I pick my brush tool and set the flow to about 1%. And after adjusting the size of the brush, I'm beginning to slowly paint over these dark areas. So I'm going to speed up this process a little and show you the final result. As you can see, I continuously adjust the size of my brush and slowly paint over the dark areas. After I'm done with the dark areas, I'm going to click on the burn layer and select its mask and begin to draw on the bright and maybe overexposed areas to make them a little darker. Still doing the same thing, but this time on the bright areas. As you can see, I'm switching between the dodge and burn layers as I draw on different areas. You don't have to zoom too much for the first stage of your retouching. Now, I'm almost done with the forehead. So I group the dodge and burn layer and turn it on and off to show the difference. Now you can see the before and after and the magic of this technique. See how that dark area was affecting the photo? Now all you have to do is to apply the same thing to the rest of the skin. And as you already know, you can hold Alt key and click on the mask of the layer to see the areas that you have painted. It can be helpful sometimes. Now I'm going to work on the rest of the photo and you'll see exactly how I use this technique on different parts of the face.
One more thing we're going to do with these layers is to double click on them and adjust the slider for the underlying layer. For example, for the dodge layer, I bring the right slider to the left. By doing this, we limit the layer to only affect on the dark areas. Then by holding Alt key, I click on the sandal to split it in half and take it apart from the other half. This makes the transition between the dark and light areas smoother. And also same thing for the burn layer. But this time I bring the left slider to the right and again split it by holding Alt key. Now we're good to go. As you can see, I checked before and after several times and it helps me to figure out which areas need to be worked on.
Now this is our final result. You can see how awesome it turned out and how smooth this skin is. As you saw, we only worked on the lighting so the texture of the skin is completely untouched and natural. Now if you have any questions about this technique or about Photoshop in general, feel free to ask them in the comment section. For more tutorials, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to like and see you in the next video.